St. Nicholas, Christ, Halloween, now holy is our name. Tweak it. The three pigs, now Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But the big bad wolf, I'm going to blow your house down, the devil. Let's say it with a real. Superman, now Super Jesus. He, he goes in the booth and changes things. Hello, somebody. The cat woman, now the Holy Spirit is the symbol of the woman. The, God, the church is the bride and the bridegroom. Come on, somebody. But we listen to all this, 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 this. Oh, help me, Lord Jesus. Show me anywhere where there's Valentine's in the Bible. Cupid shooting his arrow. Better not miss it. You will get put out like Flintstone when he got Fred got put out with the cat. The cat put him out and put the milk on the porch. He got put out. Wilma! The cat put him out and put the milk on the porch. <laughs> Twisted. <laughs> the cat. I wonder why the cat put Fred out. Y'all, y'all ain't never see that. He hollered, Wilma! <laughs> Wilma didn't come to the door either. <laughs> wow. <laughs> see, them little cartoons. And then if you watch it, the rabbit was running everywhere and the turtle won the race. That told me, I'm going to take the slow pace. Be the rabbit and fall asleep in life. Always running everywhere. I used to be the rabbit. Who used to be the rabbit? Always running in the world, busy, 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 and never accomplish. Never get across the tape. The rabbit now, I'm here on Thursday, I'm here on some Saturdays, here on Sunday. 24 years, Saturday, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. Man, you still going, Pastor? The church? Wow. It's kept me alive. He said, I'll let you live a long life, health, and peace. Ooh, that's even medically healthy. I'll be health to your I'll be health to your marrow health to marrow in your bones. Wow, when I was out on cracking hair and I looked like a skeleton. Sin had me like Look like a walking pipe. Lord. <laughs> Hide behind that little tree. You can't even see it. Lord have mercy. Varden, look at each other. <laughs> Shaking his head. You know you're 100 pounds wet. But now you with Jesus all swollen. Like my cousin Hustler. He going to sit down. He, hustler. <laughs> I say, hustler, you keep depending on that flesh and your looks and your get out of prison. All the girls like him. Next thing you know, he's back down now. No trust in God. I'm doing it all on my own. I wonder who made you look like that. You look in the mirror all day. Oh, I look so nice. Did you see Jesus in the mirror with you? You only see yourself. Look what it says. And I mean, if you're really strong in this church, you will become a pillar. A pillar is a person that is a general, important person that is something that's strong and supports and holds the church up. When others don't do it, you're still holding it up. Can I go deep? Some of them ain't came. Some of them... Lead a church. Some of them, man, forget pastor, but when they going through, here they come back under. I've been holding it up for you, and you don't want to cuss me out. <laughs> so you can come under. Who holding it up? And you talk about the same people who hold them doors open, so when you come back, I can get, I can get restored. I can repent. I can get back to the altar. 
See, man, that's why when you study in Sherlock Holmes' Bible, you got to be careful how you treat people and how you love one another because them, them pillars hold up that dough and, 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 and you don't know who's holding it up for you. Teresa gives her money on Thursday. I'd I be sneaky sometime and look. You know, and, and you put it in here, and, and that pays the lights and water, and that pays, you know, the pillar. Holding it down. I'm going to say this, if nothing else. The pillars are the ones that prosper. Because when folk come through under, this, under these pillars, it's pillars right now holding this church up. It's a solid foundation, but the truth, the trust, the trust board, that strong one holding, and guess what? That These pillars are holding it up, and when they come through these doors and get helped, somebody was here stable to keep it held up so they can come under and get blessed. Then God said, come here, angels. Them are some of the pillars that's helping people come through here and get prosper and changed and blessed and saved. Go, go to their house and help them. Now I see why it's important to give into the ministry. Because I'm in a pillar. And now I'm, I'm a part of helping people who don't even say thank you. Let me move on. Stands firm, not moving. Staying grounded, not uprooted. Always stable-minded. Ain't double-minded. Tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. They stay believing what they believe. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to go hard tonight. I believe in what God has teaching, nothing else. I watch preachers on TV. I, I don't do what works for me. And what works for me and Tracy is the truth of the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Amen. It never let us down. We've let it down, but it ain't never let us down. The truth of Jesus, not that God house is the only church got the truth, but we believe in what Jesus said. If Jesus said, that settles it. Wait a minute, preacher, you doing some of this. Thank you, Lord. Embrace her. She's your life. It's me, Lord. I see you and I messed up. You found me in that scripture in Titus. Thank you, Lord, for convicting me. When Roy says something, it, it hit me. Thank you. Matter of fact, go shake it. Hey, man, thank you. Good message. I ain't got to tell him he convicted me. <laughs> but he saved me. He brought me back on compass. The ship got back on course. Because if I'm in the house, the house going to hold me and keep me. Mm, mm, mm. I ain't going to always be doing everything right. But the Spirit speaks to the church in Revelation. Let the Spirit speak to the church. And when the Spirit speaks to the church, if I'm in the Spirit, the Spirit can keep me and, 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 and restore me, rebuke me, uh, uh, convict me. You're getting a little away from God. You're getting lazy. You ain't wanting to hear the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Wow. Some people, that true doctrine... Many people don't want that true doctrine because it challenges our lives. It gets in our business. It starts telling us what we ought to do and how we ought to live. No, let me go down to that other church. They're rocking down now. Wow, look what this says. Being discipled, a person that's going to be a pillar got to be discipled by the Spirit and is well disciplined in the things of God. In the things of God. What is the things of God, Tracy, when they're well disciplined in the things of God? In their discipline. It's how they handle themselves, how they carry themselves among the parishioners, how they're stable minded, how they're disciplined, consistent, never wavering. And when they do waver, they go repent. And they go get back restored and back in standing with God. Come on, somebody. Because they realize, I ain't doing this for me. I'm doing it for others and me. So if I stand and they say, well, watch this. I can't miss because people, uh, watch this, they gets deep. I can't miss a lot unless it's some reason I'm missing. It's a purpose. But I stand because these brothers are looking at me. And if they don't see me in a month, they where's so-and-so. And then they see me and then they see me in four months and they see me then I don't become a, a good witness to their life. Come on. Because I'm not stable. Watch this. I go sometimes not for myself, Teresa. I go because I'm accountable to others. 
So they will have hope in the wilderness if they see me standing. Well, Jug used to hustle. He'd been in the street, but he always, he always consistent. He always, you know, preaching. He always encouraging. He always letting me know it'll be all right, brother. It always, you know, uh, Ezel came last week. I was still here. You were still here. And then he come with the same old thing again. I need help. Man, we, that's old, brother. You need to die. That's what you need to do. Help me, Lord. I need a ride. No, I ain't getting you no ride. I got to get home with my wife. Oh, uh, you got a few dollars? He still just want to win. He got to leave winning some kind of way. But you really ain't winning, brother. When you going to quit po boying it? David Mann took me to a lot of trees and bushes laying. Now he said, what you see, Clayton? I, he was talking to a brother going to meet him now about tearing the land up, irrigation and all that. And I said, man, I just see a whole lot of trees, man. Why you bring me out here? I don't want to look at no tree. He said, he say, I see money. He said, I guess it's how your perspective see things. Change your perspective. Mm. Do you see money? Do you see opportunity? Or do you see just what you normally want to see? You got to change what you're looking at. Or you'll keep seeing what you see. Wow. I see God house, new people coming, getting changed. I see older members getting more mature. But I've told older members a hundred times, it's according to this church to get bored to you if you're not participating. Or you have to go get in another ministry where you can get something new. But if you're not going to do that, you got to participate because now you got all the skills to help somebody else pay the bills. Somebody new come in, let me walk with them. Because God only put all this in me so I can walk with Bill. I can walk with Daphne. I can. Be, you need anything, call me. You need anything, call me. You know, I do my best to fellowship with y'all, right? And y'all women. But I'm always a talking to you, acknowledging why. Because I want you to have all the tools you need to deal with the enemy or deal with a, a fulfilled, purposeful life. Wow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, this thing is beautiful, man. How many of y'all see yourself in the body as someone needed to the parishioners in the community? Anybody in here? But do you see yourself or do you apply yourself or even just make yourself? You can't make nobody let them help, you know. But do you see yourself available? Do you have the eyes to see that God say, go over there to that person and let me open the door to them and say, if you need anything, I'm here. Or do you have the deserve to see, maybe God is tugging my spirit for me to apply something in that person's life. That I have, I can apply it into their life, so they can be a, the body. 